and wherever else you may be watching this from. I am in Neosho County, Kansas, and I am in a place that is absolutely amazing. I want to show you in a few seconds. It's, uh, I'm going to call it the Not So Dinosaur National Park here in Neosho, Kansas. I want you to feast your eyes on something. This is just one more reason why it's important to slow down, slow down our lives and uh, take a look at all the beautiful things around us. If we slow down, we can appreciate the little things a lot more. So, had I been driving in a car, I never would have seen this. But I think uh, this video is not going to do much justice. But we'll take a look. See the Not So Dinosaur National Park. Here we have spiders. We got a woodpecker here. The woodpecker feeder. Completely made of nuts and bolts and whatnot. We walk around. Another spider. Just hang on. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna let you hear from the the creator's son who knows more about all of this. Do you mind telling that story once again? What's that? About where this all came from? And oh, sure. No, not at all. No, it was my father, and he had visited my sister out in the Washington, D.C. area and had been to the Smithsonian and had seen a work by a man, oh, it's been years ago, probably close to 30 years ago, 25, 30 years ago now, by a man named Jim Carrey who did uh, similar work. And he just liked it so much, he thought he'd come back and give it a try himself. So he just set about fiddling around and... Several years later, he had his first dinosaur put together and just never stopped. So, what you see now is a culmination of years worth of work, and we sure have enjoyed it. And we hope everyone else does too. Okay, and what's your father's name? Robert Doris. Robert Doris, and your name is? Mike. Doris. Mike Doris. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, Mike. We're just going to take a look around and uh, look at some of these awesome works of art. Thank well, you. Thank you. Over here, we have the truck that he used to put these in place, the dinosaurs in place. It's an old international. Pops, you might enjoy that. It's an old wrecker that he used to put these dinosaurs in place. Now, if you just hang on for a few seconds, we'll get you around here to these dinosaurs. So he created all of these by himself. Take a look. And this is why I call it the Not So Dinosaur Dinosaur Not So National Park. I don't know the names of all of these. Those of us who used to watch the Flintstones would call this a brontosaurus. We've got all kind. Just truly amazing stuff here. Unfortunately, Robert Doris died last year but I'm sure his work is going to live on for a long time to come. Baby one there. I just happened to be riding by and just looked over to my left and saw this. It's just a normal house. But I had to stop in and see if it was okay to take some pictures and Jeez. 
the detail, the the scale. I already got a transmission for the head of this. Jurassic Park fans, we got some Velociraptors here. Two of them. We even got that little claw. Yeah, that's amazing. Nuts and bolts, pipes, pistons. And again, this is Neosho County, Kansas. Off Highway 47. Highway 47 is right there. You can see it going by. So, this has been a really good stop. Really good stop. And from the road, these things look real. You can't tell that it's made of nuts and bolts and bumpers and pistons. And here's the, another big one, really big. I had something to show you how big it was. It has him positioned up there eating from the tree. It's a beautiful hot day out here in Kansas. But I had to stop. I don't use the video camera very often as you know. But uh, I had to let you know what was going on out here, why I stopped. Um, going to be moving on to a town called Fredonia now, but I had to stop and I wanted to share this with you. So um, to find out more about what I'm doing, please, please go to the website www.gowestusa.org. And uh, thanks again for looking. You can visit my blog at robgolden.net and uh, find out what's going on but uh, this is why we want to slow down we want our kids to slow down and I know a lot of people are having a tough time right now with the mortgage crisis job market all of that but if we slow down and enjoy the moment I think we can make some serious changes in our lives so I'm going to go back over here and talk to Mr. Doris again and uh, his father was a rock collector and he's a lot of his rocks right here rocks and stuff. A lot of things he was working on and so forth. Truly, truly, truly amazing. And this has been one of the best stops I've had in a long time. I'm truly glad I stopped here. And uh, you guys stay tuned. You'll be hearing from me. I'm out.